Welcome back to the channel, Little Flexors. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. This is an ADP Birds deck that you may have seen floating around, and to be honest, it's taken the TCG world by storm, completely pushing out ADP Zacian. Now we have many more options to hit things for weaknesses. Um, it's just a much more relevant deck than ADP Zacian. With ADP Zacian, you were really you know, kind of hoping to hit your bosses turn after turn to go after Crobats and Dedenes, but there's a couple of reasons why ADP Birds is now the dominant playstyle for this deck. First of all, we're playing less Dedenne and Crobat, right? Of course, we have Inteleon lines that are creeping their way into these Ice Rider lists, uh, or you have just less Dedenne because we have Shadow Rider that can draw us a lot of cards. So in a lot of cases, the Dedenne Crobat strategy of past ADP decks it's just not going to work here. Also, we get a little bit more relevant typings with Galarian Moltres and Galarian Zapdos V. Both of these can hit, of course, Shadow Rider and other dark weak Pokemon like Trevenant and Dusnor or Gengar and Mimikyu. And the uh, Zapdos can obviously one shot things like Eternatus V Max. So we have a little bit better type coverage um, and a little bit less Dedenne and Crobat on other people's fields. So let's take a look at the deck real quickly. Of course, we got Galarian Moltres with the Dire Flame Wings. This is just really cool, kind of a, a way to get attackers powered up here is with that Dire Flame Wings. And you can either energy switch. You'll see a lot of times where Galarian Moltres will get a, an energy back and then we'll energy switch it over on to an ADP. Or, um, you know, we'll just attack with this to hit things that are dark weak for big damage. We also have, of course, the ADP and a couple of counts there, two count there on the ADP, pretty standard stuff. And one Galarian Zapdos because while it is really good against Eternatus, it's not terribly good against much else. Now, in my build, I still play a couple of Zacian. I am holding on to that Zacian V as just being really nice against Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX. It just has that weakness. Again, we're talking about hitting for weakness, so Zacian is really good not only for doing that, but also for drawing cards in the early game, which I really value. We also have Mawile GX. This is a nice one for that captivating wink. Again, we can try to keep our opponents guessing on when they should discard Pokemon from their hand or keep them if we include a Mawile. And we can get them stuck in some pretty difficult situations if we Mawile at the right time. And speaking of Mawile here, we also have Echoing Horn. So we can do the strategy where we boss up to Dedenne um, and then just Echoing Horn one back up. You know, it, it is possible. I like that threat and the deck has a little bit of room. So I figured that including an Echoing Horn in here would be pretty strong. Now, looking at the supporters, we do include one Skyla. I'm kind of on the fence about whether or not this Skyla is any good. I think it probably should be a second Marnie, but I was just testing it out because as you can see, we do play a ton of these items. So searching out an item can be crucial to getting, you know, a turn one altar creation. Um, sometimes it's honestly just the little things in life that get you by. So I hope you guys enjoy this ADP birds list. Honestly, more birds in here than, you know, it might as well be an Alfred Hitchcock movie. <laughs> but here we go. Let's take a look at ADP birds. Path to the peak, Pika Pika Peck. I didn't see anyone playing it. I haven't seen anyone play it on the ladder, but. I suppose that's not, uh, it's not to be expected. Okay, we are playing ADP, so we do wanna go first. The one thing that I really like about ADP kind of coming back, and I say really like about it, but like, um, the one thing that I think is halfway decent about ADP coming back is that now we have uh, ADP builds that are focused on special energy, which means that um, it just means that that you know it's it's like decent to play things like um, sorry, give me one second to like not be mind flooded by just playing a quick ball. Um, To play things like the uh, the 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 guy that that puts back energy, that puts back the special energy. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You're just afraid to say it. Go e switch there. Um, Viridian Forest. I know that gives them that, but I'm worried about them playing Crushing Hammer. I know I shouldn't be, but I am. So we're gonna take 
We're just gonna be... We're gonna be cool. We're gonna be... We're gonna be cool about it, okay? We're gonna be cool about it. And then, um... Do this, Dire Flame Wings. Fan of Waves! There we go, there we go. Fan of Waves. You got me. Thanks, Nate. <laughs> and that's, that's like a really cool interaction, right? When you have cards that are good, that make like not as played cards more played. Like, if that makes sense. But like, the Aurora Energy, nobody played it. Right? In ADP. And now all of a sudden we have a use for it. So. I just think it's neat. So this is pretty good. I think we will, if we had to discard a card here from our hand, it might be the Cherish Ball. Okay, now we can't discard the Switch. I was thinking we might actually discard the Switch, but... Um, we'll go... Uh, cherish Ball. Metal Saucer? I hardly know her. Aurora? That gets discarded. We go Metal Saucer. Might have been a little cute, but I'm happy to get the extra energy on. Uh, particularly the Metal. So we'll see what we what they do next turn. We might just double, like... We might just Great Catcher the Dedenne. On the next turn. And just call it. I don't know, would you guys Great Catcher? I, right, I assume we would just do that. And then they're gonna damage themselves, so we can come up with a Zacian and just take a knockout next turn. Unless, I suppose they could Single Strike Crush. Single Strike Crush our dreams. <laughs> um, but we still have outs, we still have outs. Oh, just a Kragalanch, that's enormous. Let's go, Hatsu. Thank you so much. First time to be able to stop into the new house. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you. That is, uh, that is great. I appreciate that so much. Thank you for stopping in. So let's go. Let's go, Great Catcher. Um, yeah, sure. We'll take our, we'll take our prizes while we can with, um, with uh, the ADP. Let's go energy switch here to here. And ultimate Ray, ultimate Raymond. Take a couple of metals and another dark. Why not? A one, a two, a three. Good cards, good cards. They need to heal. I don't think I... I think that goes without saying. If they don't heal the Tyranitar, we, we gotta... I know, we're, we're that evil... Uh, that big meanie playing ADP on the ladder. Okay, we see an urn of vitality. Getting that hound door out. Okay. Getting that hound door out. Hmm. There's single strike roar. Onto that Tyranitar. Um, okay, that would be a way that they could, they could potentially win. So now what we would have to do is we would have to miss, um, 
we'd have to miss like multiple attempts at gust over the next few turns. So that seems unlikely, but certainly possible. Um, let's go with, should we do research, research or professor's research? I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, and then sure. We'll get another Moltres down Go there. Uh, we'll put, we'll save that. We'll save that. Go ultimate Ray. And then put a couple of energy down. Um, Let's, uh, yeah, we'll throw one there. Throw one there. And then we just need boss. Just need boss for game. You think professor's research? Okay. I'll definitely keep it in mind, Mike. I'll keep it in mind. I was thinking really hard about going for the research there, but I wasn't sure. And now that you said it, I'm happy I did. <laughs> Who's going to locals now? Who's going to locals? We just had um, a discussion earlier. If you're new to the new to the uh, stream here, we were just talking about locals and how there's going to be a um there's gonna be a tournament here in columbus tomorrow anybody going to locals on the reg i just don't have the thing about it is like i just don't have cards i just do not have cards so like I, I got to get myself some cards, man. Like, I got to get myself some Shadow Riders. I got to get myself some, you know. Gengar Mimikyu's. Massive influx of new players expected? I don't know. I don't know. Because, like, it's been kind of interesting. I feel like there's been a real sharp decline in online gamers so i don't know what's going on with that so they just about to crag a lanch again huh but when they did discard a boss so fair enough let's go here we're just gonna look through the deck see what we can uh see what we can see got some bosses there and then we will the dene we're gonna hit it here like i said like i said we're gonna hit it Oh wait, that's game. Oh no, it's not game. It's kind of cool though. We can go here. Do something like this. Go switch. Thunderous kick. I like that play. Is sanction stuff going to happen? So nobody knows. Yeah, nobody knows. I do hope. So they have a a big uh, board game convention every year in Columbus. And they're actually scheduling it for, I believe, October this year. And they always do Pokemon stuff there every time. Usually it's the week before Nats. But I only went one time and that was the year before my wedding. Uh, and the, my wedding that year, well, my wedding fell on Nats. And that was the last Nats before COVID. Um, so I'm hoping that they have, that they have stuff, you know, I'm hoping that they have sanctioned play by the time Origins comes around and then we can, and then we can sling some poke there and maybe go to a couple events. That's my dream. So like by October, I think Pokemon is doing the smart thing. They're being very, very cautious about their return to organized play. I think that's very smart because they don't want to, you know, they don't want to open things up and then like things get worse or some new variant comes around that nobody can deal with, you know, and then they shut it all down again. Like they want to be solidly out of COVID. 
Uh, and then you're dealing with like little kids too, right? So <clears throat> if you say, yeah, Pokemon's back, you know, events are, are back, you know, um, and, and something bad happens to a kid because they went to your event. Like, that's just not a good look. Summer drops the online numbers? Maybe. I felt like at the beginning of summer and like spring and stuff, like there were a ton of people like you're getting like six, seven hundred player tournaments. And now we're seeing maybe max four hundred. I've been one of the people playing less online, really burnt out with the online play. Yeah, I think I think a lot of people are. Are people doing future format stuff? Because I keep seeing like. Oh, well, I say keep seeing, but I see like Celio's doing like future format stuff. I'm, I've never been one to four. Yes, don't mind if I do. I've never been one to like really ever do future format. Oh, dude, this is an easy dub. Um, go here. Just do that, I guess. Sure. Go Cherish. Um, Dark Flame Wings. And then E Switch. And then we'll draw some cards and we'll attach some energy. OK, things are looking up. I'm going to save the Marnie till as late as I can. Uh, post rotation stuff like post rotation. Personally, I've been testing for 2032 format. Um, so if you guys want to. If you guys want to get in on that, you can go to the discord. Hey, thanks so much, Mike, for uh, for hanging out with us today. It's really great to have you. Why did I move the energy from Ultras to ADP? Great question. Um, just in case I wanted to attack on the next turn. Um. So, hmm. Yeah, I want to save this Marnie as long as I can. So we'll go. Go here. We'll go here. Sure. I, I'm going to I'm going to wait one more turn. I'm just going to wait one more turn and then we'll intrepid sword. I maybe could have done that a little more elegantly. I could have saved the E switch, but I was worried about like a Marnie or something. And then. And then we lose that energy switch, and I don't really want it on the Moltres. So. In 2020, they have terraforming Mars corporations as, tra as trainers, true. In 2032, for sure. Terraforming Mars. Um, let's see. It's like Terraforming Mars, Scythe, Pokemon TCG, Magic the Gathering have all come together to form a super, a super pack. A super pack of card games. Card slash board games. Tails. <laughs> you hate to see it. Ouchie. All right, we're going to be OK here. Um, we just float up. We all float on OK. We all float on all right already. Show goes on. Intrepid. Pionia? I hardly know her. Oh, 
Okay, okay. I shouldn't have discarded the Viridians. <laughs> yeah, Magic and Pokemon are going to do a crossover event. Don't tell anyone you heard this, but for Pokemon's 25th anniversary, Pokemon and Magic are going to do a crossover event. Um where Pokemon cards get redrawn by magic artists. How cool is that? Tell me that's the coolest thing you've ever heard without telling me that's the coolest thing you've ever heard. <laughs> Oof. You hate to lose a dark energy under normal circumstances, but this time, oh baby, we got Mole Tracy. That would have been a big flip. That would have been a big flip. Got the Orico. The fourth Durant A. Bro, how come this deck hasn't been suggested for Fan Favorite Friday yet? I gotta know. Somebody help. I've seen Israel Sosa like really be in there about Durant. I think it could be okay against anything not named uh, Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia. We actually just can gust here, so I'm. Um, we just gust twice, and it's like it's not really fair, but it is the deck. I mean, they decided to play Durant. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Get wrecked. Um, we're actually going to put another Dark Energy on the active. The reason for that being, we want to have a little more mobility. Um, we can just win with a gust next turn, so. I mean, we get a switch. That's cool. We get a bot. Okay, so there's our there's our winning card combination here. Um, we just get to we just get to boss the Oracorio, which is dope. Freaking sweet, man. Heckin' sweet, dog. And so, like, if they crushing hammer off one energy, then we can still just. I guess we can't manually retreat, but we could just attach one more energy and retreat here. Um, just gives us a few more options, you know? Yo, they Lana's fishing rotted. <gasps> they know. They put it right back down. They don't know. <laughs> oh, you definitely don't do that. Unless you're looking for something very specific that's... Just cannot be correct. All right, Devour. GG. It's too good. It's too good. It's too good. So we went on a seven game heater with our Ice Rider. Two game heater. About to be a three game heater after we knock out our next victim. Bro, my ladders are never finished, hot soup. I am always like, oh yeah, there's a Mewtwo or like there's a there's a full art, you know, supporter that I don't have at the end. Like, let's let's finish the ladder and then I never can. All right, Mewtwo comes down. I do love what they've been doing with the ladder rewards, though. I mean, we gotta, we really gotta give them props for, um, for what they've been doing here with those ladder rewards. I, I, I love the switch. I love to just like Skyla into an ADP.
Do I just Skyla into an ADP and then I just Viridian Forest? Um, I'm gonna go for it. I mean, we don't play a greedy deck to just Skyla, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we were one card away. See, now I don't think I get that greedy. I think I go for a Cherish here and we get the ADP. We attach to it. And then... Um, we Viridian? Yeah, sure. I'll discard a boss because we can get it back later with the... Uh, get it back later with the Goss. And then let's go Intrepid. Okay. Not the greatest. Not the worst, not the greatest. I actually cannot believe we're facing this deck right now. It's a blast from the past. For sure. Blast from the past for sure. Choose a Pokemon to become our active. I mean, it's gotta be... It's gotta be the Trace, right? Oh, this one kind of hurts. Um, what's the card we care the least about? I think the Moltres? They do 230 to it or something? Sheesh. Yeah, if they knock out here, that would be so bad. But they don't have an attacker down, so I guess they're just hoping that we whiff? Um, which could happen, I guess. So if that's the case, like, we actually have a choice on our hands. Like, this would be one of the... They scooped. Aw, oh, come on. All right. What did I say, though? I definitely called that we were going to win that game. So I guess you kind of have to give props to me first calling that we were going to win it. But at what cost? Because now I got to, like, go back and edit the YouTube video. It's just, it's a whole thing, man. It's a whole thing. We're going to do one more giveaway here after uh, after this game, and then we're going to get into the tier list. Yeah, we're going to do the tier list. If you look on the docket, exclamation point docket, we got tier listicity coming up. Okay. Ooh. I hate this start. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> ah. You're done, bud. All right, we'll go there. We'll intrepid sward. Very nice. Very nice. We might have to lose three metal saucer, but I'm I'm cool with it, generally speaking. Because if it means if it means we get a knockout, or excuse me, if it means we get a uh, an alter creation next turn. Well, how do we do that though? We would need to draw into like a a metal energy and then we would Viridian Forest the metal away or Quick Ball. Like we need one more piece of the puzzle, I think. They are going to switch. They're going to go there. That's I don't think we care. One, two, three, four, five, six. We already are taking an L there, so we go Intrepid Sword. That's fine. I'm fine. Alex, chill, bro. Chill. <laughs> 
We are undefeated so far with this deck. We've only taken what? One loss chat? Is that true today? Nine and one or something? We have not played ADP the whole time. All right, so we got a little tool jammy. Tool jammy action. Um. Huh. This does not look good for our hero, though. Go there. We go here. Go here, of course. I guess we could have gotten two Viridian Forests off, but... Um, I kind of don't want my opponent to have Viridian. Is that selfish of me? Am I being selfish? Okay, another question, guys. Do we... Do we research? Research or research. Let me know. <laughs> okay, thank goodness. So we energy switch. We maybe... Oh, F. No. We pressed the wrong button. Wrong lever, Crunk. Wrong lever! Alright, there's still a chance. There's still a chance. Let's go, never punished! <laughs> it almost- it, we actually might have been- we're, we're actually better off not even alter creationing, but uh, it's fine. Like, I think we might just be better off taking the knockout there. Um, because we could technically win in two turns. But, yeah, it doesn't matter, but I think we're technically better off taking that KO. But it's fine. Imagine me being scuffed about it. Alright, let's go Aura Burn. 440. We also could have, um, we could have Dire Flames Wings, but yeah, it's fine. My, my opponent doesn't have anything. There's like no way they can get a knockout here, so we're chilling. Brankus! Bro, stream snipe! Um, excuse me, uh, tournament? T.O.? Yeah. Who's who's that knocking? It's the FBI? I uh, got him. Excuse me, can we... Can we get Brankus here? Uh, yeah, sir, he's right, he's right there. <laughs> All right. What do we got? We did draw the Moltres out of the prizes, which was very fortunate for us. Um, our opponent needs a reset stamp. So this is why I'm like pretty, I'm pretty high on reset stamp, because you can, you can make plays with reset stamp. Um, and I see a lot of these lists only play like one reset stamp. And I, I don't know, I just feel like, I feel like I always want more than one, especially if I'm not playing a, an Italian based list. Cause then I can't search it out when I want it. No, you're cool, Brankus. You're cool. You're cool. Yeah, no, no worries. No worries. I, I was messing. I was messing. So they have to like... Yeah, that's that's a play. Okay. It's um it's too easy. Even when you misplay like multiple times with this deck, it's just disgusting. Well played, Brankus. Well played. The power of ADP.